Hello everybody and welcome back to Alex Elliott Golf. Today is slightly different. Now I've seen a lot of comments on my Instagram, a lot of people wanted me to do a what's in the bag. Now in the past I haven't really done this because I don't use the most up-to-date equipment. It's not old but it's not the most current year's stuff. Now I just want to say that it doesn't really matter if you can't afford or can't actually use the most up-to-date equipment. It's what's right for you and especially that's in three wood. I mean it's very hard to get a three wood that you like so I've kept an old three wood and you'll see what that is in a second. Now I'm not saying by all means that the new equipment is absolutely great and absolutely fantastic and will offer you some improvements to your game like faster ball speed, more consistent strikes and closer grouping. They will do that but it's not the be all and end all. If you can't afford it, let's still get people out there playing golf no matter what golf clubs they've got. So let's firstly start with my putter. I've got an Odyssey Works putter. Now as you can see it's the V-Line Big T. You see it's absolutely perfect condition but People are going to ask me now, I'm going to see this in the preempt your questions, why have I got lead tape? Well, for me, and this is a personal preference, I really, really like a heavy butter. So I thought this was a little bit, a little bit light, especially when I put a big, thick wind grip on the end of it. I then put loads of lead tape to make the head feel heavier, so I got, felt like I got more control through the impact. And that from there, I like this as well because I can see clearly with the white and black detailing, where my club head is closed, open or square at address, which is absolutely key to aligning it up and creating a nice stroke so your ball starts online. Moving on to the next part of my club. So, my driver. I have got a tailor-made M1 driver. Now, I have had this for a while and it's my old faithful. I found it very hard actually to get it out of the bag. I've tried a few of the new ones. I've not actually tried the Twist Waist or the new Ping Drive or the new Callaway, but that is later this year and I'm going to do some testing on that. And hopefully I might find a driver that works for me that's newer than this because it'd be great to get out of it. So I have got a ten and a half head and I've moved my weight all the way to the front to hopefully lower my spin rate. Put, moving the ball a bit further back will create a little bit more spin, moving the centre of gravity towards the back of the head. Moving it forwards will help lower that spin because I tend to spin the golf ball quite a lot. So, what shaft do I have? I've got a Matrix Ozic and it's a black tie 4 shaft. So you can see this, and this actually you can't buy this shaft. It's for no, not for resale, which is quite a cool little thing. I'll show you that that way around. It's quite a cool little thing to have on your shaft, not for resale. So, as you can see there, it's a really nice shaft and this really works well for me. Now, this is not the only shaft that I've used in the past. I've actually all, also used this shaft in the past, Diamana 72 grams S-Flex Mitsubishi Rayon. This is another shaft that I've really liked in the past and it's a slightly different feeling. It actually looks visually thicker than this one as well. So it's a little bit kind of different and I kind of flip between them both. At the moment I'm using this one, I have used one in the past and okay that's not what sometimes people say you got to have a shaft that you work for all the time but for me sometimes a change is as good as as good as keeping to the same thing it freshens you up keeps you feeling about what actually is good about the golf club and by doing this yes okay they're not massively different anyway but they are slightly different so moving on to my three wood and now like we all know this is one of the hardest clubs in the bag to actually fit I've got a slider three wood 15 degrees really kind of my old faithful. Now there's a few three ones that I like out there, I like the new Callaway ones, Callaway Rogue, and I like the new Ping ones as well, so they're two match your favourites that I will be testing. And again, like the driver, I may even end up putting it in the bag, but it takes a lot for me to put something in the bag. So I've got an Oban shaft, and I saw this comment on Instagram actually, I put like a little flight scope on there, a little uh, ball tracker, and someone asked me what shaft this was. So it's an Oban Revenge, and it's 4 flex, 65 grams, and it's a number 6. Now again, I've had this shaft for a very, very, very long time. Again, like I said, you're gonna hear this a lot through my bag, it's an old faithful. I like things that work for me, and that's key. Even if it's the new stuff, it works for you, that's fine. But this one works for me. Moving on to my rescue now. I've got my old faithful tiger head cover. Growing up watching tiger, very, very big fan. Moving on to my rescue. Now, this again has got a pretty cool shaft in it. It may look like a normal paintwork, but it's not. It's actually off the tour van again. So I've got an Adams Pro 18 Rescue. Now, as you can see here, again, an old faithful, and it's got an Adelia shaft in it. Tour Preferred XT, and 105 grams. So it's quite a heavy shaft, but again, I like this because it lowers my, lowers my spin and is really good. And I find this really valuable shaft and head into wind, downwind, and it's very, very versatile club. I can make it go longer if I want to, but I had a little draw, and I can also feel like I can take yards off it. Even though the face feels hot, 
it feels under control, which I think is a very key component in a rescue. You want it to be as versatile as possible. So, moving on to my irons, I've got a bit of a graduated set. I've got the set ZU45, 20 degree, that's basically my three iron, so I carry that as my three iron. Again, a very versatile club, feel like I can use it off a lot of tees, create it going low, and like a nice high one into par fives, or even par fours that are incredibly long. Then, in four and five iron, I go into the set 545, so a little bit chunkier. But when you put it down actually it doesn't look much different to the 745 so that's why i like that again not a very hot head but it allows me to have some control and a little bit more forgiving than my six seven eight nine and pitching wedge which i have in the z745 really nice looking club i really like the shininess on the back that's one of the reasons why i liked it actually and for me when i pop it down on the ground i like how the top line is not very thick so it's a really nice looking club and i always you'll see here that i use lambkin grips really good grip really like them very good in the wet and they also last a very long time so that's my irons moving on to my wedges so i've obviously got my wedge in the z745 but also i carry 52 and a 58 and i like the rusty old look kind of raw finish so i've got a 52 again with a lambkin grip on it with a kbs shaft and this has got two dot bounce so for me i like quite a lot of bounce in my club so i've got a 52 and a 58 with both a two dot bounce as well so 58 is quite a special club here dynamic gold tour issue shaft again so it's quite nice that it's all black i really like the, the kind of all black finish as you can see that with my putter and it's a really nice kind of look uh, and again i like it with a lot of bounce because i like a lot of bounce in the sand and when i'm playing some pitch shots and chip shots around the green you've seen a lot of my videos and that I've done chipping tips, I always talk about how to use the bounce, especially on flop shots, bunker shots, and even your general chip shot around the green. I like a lot of bounce to use and work with. So thank you for watching today's video on Alex LA Golf. Hopefully that's given you a little bit of an insight to what I have in my bag. And like I said, I do like the new equipment. I love the ping, love the Callaway, I love the TaylorMade, and there will be some testing going on on my channel. But this is what I use. So I want to reiterate this again. You've got to use what's right for you. So even if you have some chunky irons in your top few irons, if that works for you and makes you shoot the best scores you can, that's fine. I would recommend a graduated set for a lot of people. So going chunky in your three, four, and five, or even down to your six iron, then going to a bit more of a bladey looking club in your seven, eight, nine, and definitely wedge. And that graduate set gives me a lot of versatile different shots different feels and a little bit more forgiving towards those harder clubs to hit at the top so just to finalize three wood rescue and driver i use and i use a three iron in a 20 degree z4 z545 is in my longer irons into 745s in my shorter irons then i also use a 52 and a 58 cleveland wedge thank you for watching if you like more of this content of me looking at my clubs reviewing clubs and talking about my opinions and what shafts work for me then give me a thumbs up if you like this content also don't forget to subscribe to alex elliott golf lots more content coming in the future thank you very much and see you next time on alex elliott golf